everyone, George here, and I'm very excited today because I am in Poland in a city called Sosnowitz. I'm at the Green Art Aquascaping Shop, Aquascaping Store here in Poland. So just want to show you guys around and have a look at the scapes. There's some beautiful scapes in here, some great fish, and excited to share the journey with you. So pay attention throughout the whole video, and then I'll ask a question at the end like I normally do. So let's dive right in. So a really cool vibe as you walk into the store. We've got some really comfortable seating. Here we've got Adam Paskella, legendary yes. Polish aquascoper. We've got Ray McCoon from Scape Nature. And then we've got Marcin Vrnuk, owner of Piha 6.8. So let's check it out. Let's start off with this big tank here. I've got to say this is probably six foot, maybe two meters. Angel fish. Nice big Amazon sword, Echinodora species, some Blixia carpet there. Quite a simple scape, got quite a, a big open space here on the left. Some LED, regular kind of LED lights up here. This is a nice scape, this is a nice and mature way of look of it on the left. Got some interesting cryptocorines here. Does, it, does anyone know what crypts these are? Do you know what species these are? This is with albida maybe. Albida? Albida brown. It looks very big for albida yeah, brown. Yeah, it's a different, just different normal type. albida. Yeah, different type. Mm -hmm. And we've got some nymphia some here with uh, some sort of catfish on there. Beautiful. Madagascar lace plant, Apogonagetan madagascarensis, Cryptocryne, Wendati green, Assassin snail there at the bottom. Some nice moss. Some crazy red kind of moss, algae, on here as well. Fissidens moss. There's some real different plants that I don't normally see in aquascapes in the UK. This is really interesting. So this is a stunning example of a Dutch style aquascape. it would be hard push to lane all the species. I'll do my best. Let's just have a, a little look and let it will sink in. This is a- Thomas is here, the owner. So this is Thomas, the owner. Say hello, Thomas. Hey. So how, how long has this been running? <laughs> two years. Two years, wow. And it, are they all the same plants for that whole two years? It's all just the same machine. Or the European. Ah, the some, what's, what species is, what species is this? What is the development? It is a Virgia Tornado. Virgia Tornado. Wow. Amazing. You've got the spirally kind of petals, leaf blades. Oh, so we've got some Altananthera. Uh, Rotala, Bonsai, Lobelia, Cardinalis, Amania, yeah. uh, Ludwigia, Palustris, oh. Cuba. What's this one here? Oh, this looks great. What is it? Is it like a Rotala Pearl. Ah, yes. Looks nice. Yes. Uh, Aereo Kaolon. Yeah. Vietnam. 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 Another Tonina. Uh, wow, okay. And then this. Kuba. Uh, Ludwigia Kluber. Yeah. Altenanthera. Look at this crazy red one here. Yeah. Ludwigia Pantanel. Okay. A lot of species, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. So I do get a lot of requests that I should do a Dutch tank, but um, I just think they're such hard work with the trimming and the. You spend a lot of time. Main, how much time maintaining this a week? A, a week. Usual. Yeah. Uh, and 10 minutes every day. Wow. Amazing. 
So I've never seen these lights before, but it has a very strong, there's a mix of spectrum. So we've got like a pink, a white, and then a warm white at the back. And obviously growing, growing the plants very well. So e-hine filtration. Just the one filter or two? Two filters, same. Two e-hymes, yeah. Uh, stunning, really beautiful. The viewers will love this tank. Yeah, it's quite rare to see Dutch style. Let's move over to this one, Irigumi. We have Dragonstone, or Oko Stone. Uh, we have Elio Caris, Acicularis, uh, Monte Carlo, Rotala, Rotundifolia, or Indica, or Colorata. Indica. Colorata. Indica. Colorata. Okay. And then. Uh, ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. More Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah. And I love these Rosboras, Borea Potensis. These are really nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful shoulder and fish. Mm. Quite, they're quite rare as well in the UK. Nice little nano tank. There's some Cuba at the bottom. Christmas moss. So this is interesting, Aquael, they're actually a Polish company. Very big. We have a lot of Aquael products in the UK as well. This is nice, nice like wall effect going on in the back with the lava rock. Nubia Spooker Philandra, Java Fern. Some tiny Spooker Philandras here, look how small these are. Romano Shrimps. This is a beautiful little nano here. Buca Philandra, some Fissidens moss here. Some tiny, tiny Fissidens. You seen this, Ray? You see if you can grab like a tiny little portion of this, take home. Start propagating some of the really rare stuff for the shop. This is a beautiful little display here. Just a little cheap LED above it. Really nice. And then we've got another Irigumi style scape here, nice open foreground. A little bit of BBA going on there. Beautiful fish, we've got Celestial Pearl Danios. And then the Micro Rasbora um, Kabutai, uh, neon green Rasboras. And we've got a male better there, not Nimrod. A couple of kind of terrarium jar style things. And then we've got a dry start method tank where it looks like a flu valve edge. Uh, I don't think it is a flu valve edge, but a similar style. And this is a, uh, looks like it's doing like a dry start with a tank, German tank in there. <laughs> so that's kind of this area. This is a seating area here. So you can just kind of sit down and chill out and look at escape. So this is the view from the sofa. It's great. What a lovely store. Lovely kind of decor, green. So let's take a look up the stairs. Oh, this is awesome. Check this out. Nice little fogging machine here. Looks like we've got some Hemianthus Cuba, some bromeliads. Really nice. Really mysterious looking with the fog. Lots of air plants here. There's a dry goods behind the counter. Here we've got an awesome paludarium, almost Blackwater style, I would say. Really different. Love this above and below water thing they've got going on here. Really nice. And even nice use of duckweed. Don't normally say that, do we? But really like it. Here we've got the Exoterra, classic vivarium style. Lots of house plants, three terrariums. Loads of little kind of air plant ornaments. What a lovely shop. 
Really impressive. We've got a big cube tank. This is a nice skate. There's lots of um, Hygrophila pinata feeder, Staragyne repens at the bottom there. Got some Amianthus cuba carpeting. Different mosses. Awesome hardscape selection. Different graded, different gravels. Nice natural textures, natural colours. No pink gravel here, which is good to see. <laughs> uh, nice bog woods, drift woods. Looks like red moor root. Got some really nice chunky kind of uh, driftwood here as well. Hi, Jojo. Hey, mate. And then we've got some plants for sale. Not sure what brand these are. All looking healthy though. Another little display tank, little mountain to the wall. It's really cute. And then uh, a small but very high quality kind of aquascaping friendly selection of fish. Most of your common bread and butter stuff. Barbs here. Tetras and platy sword tails. Some gold, fancy goldfish. Instagrammer, some rams, resboras, all your kind of general aquascaping friendly fish. Oh, got another tank here. I almost forgot to show you this one. This is lovely. Oh, wow, look at this kind of waterfall effect going on here. It looks amazing. Some low, lovely kind of terrestrial plant growth. Yeah, it's really nice. Kind of penin peninsula style tank, so kind of coming out at a right angle from the wall and allows you to walk around the whole thing. Um, this is a really nice style. I've not really seen many of these, especially like it being so shallow and having the, the water flowing down like that. I really like this. This is really quite inspirational. And yeah, it's just really nice to see such lovely gravels. You know, it sounds a bit might not be your cup of tea, but choosing decorative gravel is um, you know, a big part of aquascaping. If you're not using a foreground carpeting plant, then it makes sense to use a really attractive foreground gravel or sand. And as you can see, a great selection here. Uh, yeah. no, i give you a bit more of a sense of the, the shop space here. Adam and Ray chatting. So I've been, I've been with with Adam for the last couple of days. He's, you might have seen some of the films already, live streams, etc. From from Adam's gallery. Do check out as a separate playlist. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But yeah, great shot. Really, really nice. Really nice to see another aquascaping specialist store. You know, with beautiful scapes, beautiful products, beautiful fish, beautiful plants, beautiful people. Thanks very much. Awesome. Really good shot. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that quick tour of green art here in Poland. Uh, let me know which of the scapes is your favourite. I think mine's the Dutch scape just because of the health of the plants, just the intense colour, textures. Just really, really beautiful and outstanding on a gardening technique. Dutch isn't necessarily my favorite style of aquascaping, but I can really appreciate the hard work, the effort and the skill that goes into creating one. So maybe it's something I should think about creating myself just to challenge myself. I have done a couple in the past. I've never, I've never really seen them through. Uh, food for thought, do I have enough time to dedicate to creating a, an awesome Dutch layout? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Always read them, always really appreciate them. Okay, we're signing off now. You take care, keep on escaping. Cheerio.